The requirement on the 24D labels and recent permits to use a very cool spray quality or larger has meant that many of the older low pressure air inductions in the smaller sizes can't produce that sort of spray quality or reasonable pressure. So most operators who need to produce very coarse or larger will need to change to some, a different type of nozzle, often a high pressure one, something like a TTI or, or otherwise. Now that shift from a coarse spray quality to a very coarse will actually halve the amount of drift that can get in the air. In other words, the amount of volume coming out of the sprayer of small droplets is half. And each time I go to a bigger spray quality, it keeps doing it. And if I end up with something like a TTI operating an ultra coarse, that's more than a 90% reduction in what can get into the air compared to the old fashioned course. Now from a drift point of view that's fantastic, but we also need to think about from things from an efficacy point of view or a spray coverage point of view. So if I'm using a nozzle like this and actually spraying into a stubble or a standing stubble in fallow, the larger droplet size means I'm not going to get the same number of droplets for the same volume. So if I'm increasing the spray quality or going to larger ones, I typically need to increase the application volume to compensate. So with a very coarse, often we say to be at 70 litres per hectare or above. And if you're going to extremely coarse or larger, typically that would be at 80 litres or above. But being aware that the amount of stubble standing there will also affect that. So quite often assessing the coverage in between the rows, but also at the base of the standing stubble, you can use something like water sensitive paper to check that or other fluorescent dyes. It's a really good idea to make sure you're getting the coverage where you need it when you move to a larger droplet size. Now, when we go to bigger droplet sizes, they do work very well for fully translocated products like our glyphosates, 2,4-Ds and other group I's. Um, if we're doing something like a double knock with a contact product in the second knock, the same nozzle may not be appropriate unless we really increase the application volume a lot, say somewhere around 100 litres or more. Often it may be better to change back to something in a standard course for that second knock. The change in spray quality will reduce drift that's the point of the change in the labels.